Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of What the Fark with me, Lord Farquad. As always, great to have you back. Botting, botting, botting. When it's not allowed to be spoken about. But what has happened with Scopely bringing in the hostile grinding nerf? Nerf, limit, whatever you want to call it. What it has done. It brought the the idea of botting away from just a very niche part of the community who understood it to the mainstream and people are what's it about and and stuff and the question is to bot or not to bot that is the question little bit of Shakespeare there. Lord Farquhar Shakespeare, I think goes well together. Um, firstly, I would like to say, botting is against TOS. It is not recommended. It is not allowed. You cannot do this. So if we just have a quick look at the terms of service, there are a lot of things you are not allowed to do. One of them down here. Create, use, offer, promote, advertise, make available or distribute exploits, cheats, bots, softwares, hacks, mods, or any unauthorized third party code or software that can be used to interfere with, alter, or modify our services, or that can be used in conjunction with our services. That's my disclaimer. What I'm going to do today is open up the eyes of the community to bots and what you guys are having to compete against when you are grinding when you are minding you ever wondered that you you you, you kind of you're looking at a ship and it's going around the system in a very weird way not really kind of doing your standard hostile grinding patterns. Potentially that's a bot. Secondly, if you're mining um, and you see a miner, you're going to hit it, hit them for OPC. And you're within, I don't know, five seconds of them, they warp out. Or you know someone's offline. You know they're offline. And they auto shield. Just when you've done a quick scan on their base or ships come near it. Probably a bot. And what's happened is the rise of PC version of this game has um, arisen a new section of bots. These, the first kind of say, just to be clear, Ripper's mod is not a bot. What it is there is to do is to enhance the gameplay to fix some of the bugs and just to add a little bit more of an improvement on top of Scopely's PC version. You can't automate anything. Yes, there's some keybinds in there, but other than that, you cannot automate things. What the other thing is, is, is bits of software that manipulate and copy the characteristics of a standard player. Over the last couple of years, there was the Android ones that would either use BlueStacks or use another emulator. But now, as I say, there are PC ones. So what I have done is off an account that is not my main. As part of a testing exercise, I have used two bots. And I'm going to show you how they work kind of what they do, the limitations to them, and how you might be able to identify those players that are potentially botting. So first, let's jump to the Android version and uh, have a look. So the Android bot is using uh, Mimi Player as the uh, emulator to be able to do this so those that are using blue stats I think there was one called Trek bot I 
think, I can't remember off the top of my head, it's a Blue Stacks one, but this one is. And this has been around for, I don't know, probably 18 months, maybe two years, and has grown over time. And as you can see, there are multitudes of different types of settings and scenarios that you can uh, make to be able to um, to be able to make the, the kind of the, the gameplay that you want. It's actually very interesting and very easy. The look of it is very easy to use, and I can understand the reason why people um, get attracted to something like this. Um, but yes, yeah, so you've got say hostiles, helps, shields, uh, away teams, daily activities, gathering resources, gathering coordinates, um, multi-ship, multi-system hitting, uh, collection of, um, I say, production, so research and, and buildings, all the way through to, can I say, recalling ships at certain times, and, um, yeah, using the refinery as well, um, and remembering those 12 hour refineries um, and, and doing that so a lot of the the tasks that are the automated daily things are being done with this obviously what's going to mean is that you will not be able to play the game you won't be able to do anything else if you're using one of these bots you are locked out simple as that and I think for some they might be happy with that but for many, probably 99% of the players, they want to feel the game. They want to go and do something. They can go and do it. This will lock you out. So we'll just finish going through and we'll boot up the game and we'll have a, have a quick look to see what happens. So as you can see, kind of what it's doing is it's connecting through and it, it, it understands that. And when it goes into the game, it was just to note I have sped this up 200% just due to the slight limitations with regards to the actual bot and it doing its instructions so as you will see it probably takes um, around one minute for each instruction to take place so plus movement time you're looking at if you're doing hostiles okay at one minute 30 one minute 40 each of these so right now the game is not being touched the when it was recorded my mouse you'll probably see soon will be on top of the bot and at the moment it's taking control of all of the actions that I'm doing so sit back we'll watch have a little comment afterwards and um, So the way it works out is it's based around the the instructions that you have given it. So you've given it a system to hit in. So it goes and finds that bookmark. It centers it on. And then what it will do is it will find the selected ships based around, again, the criteria that you've put in. And what it will do is it will go and search. And sometimes it will be having to really kind of cal calibrate itself and work out where things are. But right now i say when i was doing this nothing's being touched you can see my mouse moving on the left hand side and the screen moving on the right what it's doing is it's saying find an enemy is this the right enemy is it an easy enemy select ship select attack this makes it look very fast but as i said this is sped up 200 percent and what you can also see is that the traditional way of of going around and hunting hostiles is normally round in a circle you stay in one place this is very erratic there's no sequence there's no um set way that the bot hits the hostiles so if you are using so if a member of, uh, of, of your server is using this bot you will probably be able to work out what it is.
So this is a good example of uh, an Android bot. But what we'll do now is we're going to jump in to the EC bot, which is very, very new currently at this moment in time. So you can see me now controlling it and this is the actions that I was doing. So you can see that at no point was I ever touching this and everything was completely automated. So the PC bot, this is a little bit more complex and a little bit different. And this is again, this is one of the reasons why Scopely have put into place the limiter on regards to the number of hostiles because with the rise of PC comes the rise of mods, requires the rise of bots. And it's easier to bot a PC game, a PC game, than it is to bot a Android or an iPhone, iOS based game. So just looking at this, kind of what you've got is, oh, well, here's your selected ships and the percentage of uh, when you want to, to return back to base. And you've got mining and all the bookmarks and I say kind of lots of different things again. So do the Alliance helps, do the Alliance rewards, do the shielding or auto shielding, um, which is a, a big, a big one on, on people. Um, and then say like, right, what targets do I want to do? Do I want to do these ones? Do I want to do those ones? Do I want to pay for my repairs? Do I want to do free repairs? Do I want to use one ship or two ship? And again, look, kills 1500, which means the bot shuts down at 1500 which is the most important bit. But you can change that. And it's very, it's interesting. It's very um, intuitive with regards to <clears throat> the way it's set out. Um, but again, this is limited. So this, this actual bot is actually controlled by Discord. And you can uh, actually change the settings and you can change everything via actually a Discord rather than doing it. So right now, I'm not touching this. This is all 100% the bot doing the script. And what it's doing is it's, this is actually on a uh, color identifier and an object identifier. And it's um, got a set scenarios that take place in the code that allow it to do things. So it's not 100% because look, it's it feels like it's lost at the moment. So it's looking around looking around, trying to work out its barriers and, and stuff from there. But what it is doing is it's looking, it's searching, it's calibrating. Um, to actually get this one set up takes about two minutes every time to recalibrate everything, um, which then kind of gives it the, uh, the oomph to, to go and get stuff. So right now it's found another thing and off it goes. Again, this is at 200%, so it's a little bit faster. But you can see the the idea and the thinking of of the way that it's going right now and it's it's just doing on its own and you can leave this for hours and hours and how are you going to compete against somebody who can use something like this they just leave their pc going or their laptop or whatever 24 hours a day and they can just grind, they can mine, they can shield. They haven't even got to play. They can get all those helps. They can get all those alliance rewards. Um, and it just gives that advantage. And especially on the grind events where you've got people who are doing huge numbers and they feel like they've been going for hours. This is kind of how can you compete? So Scopely obviously have put the thing in and in regards to kind of 1500 and rep grinding, etc. But still with events. Um, how are you going to compete? It's it's an interesting one. But for some people, this might be the way that they want to play. They want to, to bot it up and, and stuff. But uh, this is actually a little bit more of a, compared to the Android, this one here is a little bit more intelligent, um, as you've probably seen just from, from watching, that the path at which they are searching for the, um, for the hostiles to hit are a little bit more normal compared to what the Android one, which was a bit 
scatty um, and uh, all over the place. So it's very interesting to see this and how it works. Um, and points to notice when you are watching others grind, yes, in the back of your mind is how can they keep going? Are they using a bot? Well, these are two examples. One, you can definitely tell. The PC one is a lot harder to identify. But this is the game right now. So thanks for everyone for, for joining me for this What The Fark bot video. Um, depending on Scopely, I may be banned from, uh, from playing again. Uh, but what I wanted to do is just show the community that there are people out there using this. Uh, for myself, a disclaimer again, I do not promote bots. I do not recommend bots. Bots are used at your own risk. They are against Scopely TOS. And if you find anyone using a bot, you should report them to Scopely to be investigated. Thank you very much, everybody, for, for joining me on this interesting and maybe last What the Fark presents. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you again.